is Shannon and today I'm going to be doing the doing my makeup in reverse challenge uh, so let's just get straight into this so I'm going to be starting off with the PS hydrate setting spray um, because this is I've got to start off with setting spray this is the setting spray I, I love so Uh, Callum's home now, so if you hear any noise in the background, it's him moving around. You can eat your Christmas cake and Christmas pudding now. Yeah, but it's not that much, so it's gonna get you drunk. Yes, we still have Christmas cake and Christmas pudding left. I don't like it, easy, I want to eat it. Oh, yeah. So, setting spray, done. Next is my lipstick and lip liner. So, I actually have to do this in reverse order, but I've got the two. Uh, I'm using the PS Lip Liner and Crayon Duo in the shade Light Brown, so I'm gonna go with the lip crayon end. Where's my mirror? So that was the crayon and now I'm going to go in with the liner. So that's my lip liner and lipstick done. I have a list over here of what order I have to do it in. Next is mascara and I've picked out the Mascara Revolution from Revolution. You, if you've watched any of my recent videos you guys will know I've been loving this and my only complaint is the squeegee, the squidger. I don't know what it's called, it's just, I, I call it a squidger. Okay so that's my mascara applied, looks like I smudged it. Oh, no, didn't. that's just the bags under my eyes. <sighs> Fun. Okay, so next on the list is eyeshadow. I'm going to give this mascara some time to dry before I do that. So the mascara's dried. I'm going to go in with the I Heart Revolution Macaroons palette. Macaroons? Macaroons? I've heard several pronunciations of these things. So, oh, um... I'm just going to do a pretty simple eye look with this palette. It smells delicious. Okay, so I'm not going to use that, that brush set because that is absolutely covered. Different coloured eyeshadows that are not going to work for this. So I'm going to start with going into the shade Almonds, which is a nice brown shade, this one right here. So I'm just going to go into that shade and put it in the crease. Actually, I'm just going to put that white brush in my face. Without Trying not to hit my lashes. No, I don't like it. It's okay because we're going to cover it up with dark colours. It's fine. It's fine. No reason to panic. Um, I'm in a weird mood. So next, I'm going to go into the shade Baked with Baked with Love. Yep, Baked with Love, which is this lovely brown shade right here, and I'm going to go into the crease with that. So for the purposes of trying to make this look at least semi-presentable, um, I will not be using an eyeshadow primer or a cream primer. Um, the only issue I'm, I've got is that I don't actually have a lot of cream products. Um, so I'm still going to go in with like powder bronzer, powder contour, highlighter and blush because I just don't have that many cream products I like. Uh, actually I don't have any bronzers or blushes so. Did you hear that noise? It's my kettle. Calm's making a cup of tea and I'm, he's making me a coffee. Which, you know, at, what's the time? Uh, at 20 to 12 at night probably shouldn't be drinking coffee but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. So next I'm going to go in with a new brush and I'm going to go into the shade Chocolate, which is exactly what this palette smells like. It's making me hungry. Oh, I'm getting some of your eyeshadows. Next I'm going to go into the shade I look weird with my eyes done with mascara and my foundation done. Okay, and then finally I'm going to go into the shade Coconut and did not mean to flip you off, sorry, and put that in my inner corners. So, I don't think it looks too bad, it's just a nice natural look and I didn't get any mascara in it, which is obviously a plus. So, yeah, so now I'm moving on and I'm doing my brows now. Um... So I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil in the shade, this one. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this is ash brown. 
yeah ash brown the next is highlighter and i have picked out the revolution skin kissing ice kiss i'm gonna whack a ton of this on So I'm gonna whack a ton of this on, hoping it's gonna come through the foundation. Okay, so I've whacked as much of that on as I could possibly you know, until basically until I got bored of putting it on. Um, <laughs> so next is blush. Where's me blush? I've picked out the brightest blush I have in my collection, which is the PS blush in in the pink. So I'm gonna take my blush brush and I'm just gonna go ham in the hair. And I'm going to look absolutely bonkers. Oh my god. <laughs> I wish you guys could have seen his face. There's just that smile with the, the cheeks. And Annabelle. <laughs> I kind of look like her for a second. Again, I'm trying to get it to come through the foundation. I picked the lightest coverage foundation I own. Probably no red lipstick on, then it would have worked, wouldn't it? Mm. Right. You're purple anyway, so. Hey! Are you wearing this shade? Okay, next is contour. So I'm gonna take my Revolution Ultra Contour Palette. And I'm gonna take my contour brush and again, I'm just gonna go ham. I look like a dirty mess. You know? Okay, that's the contour. Next is the bronzer. I'm actually enjoying this. <laughs> For once, my heavy handedness is coming handy. In all honesty, though, some of these products I'm actually having trouble building up to be as crazy looking as I want them to be. Um, just because they seem to blend quite well. Oh my god. After bronzer is. Powder. So I have, I'm only using a pressed powder, I'm not using a loose powder today because it's pointless baking. Um, so I'm using the Revolution Matte Base Powder and I'm just going to take my brush, where is it? Here. I'm going to take a brush and powder my face. I'm using the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Well, highlighter was pointless, wasn't it? <laughs> So next is foundation. So I am using the Maybelline Satin uh, Dream Satin Liquid in the shade O2 Fair Beige. This is the lightest coverage foundation I own, and this is actually still wrapped in cellophane. So we'll see if I've been looking like an Annabelle doll for a reason, or if it was pointless. And this is just going to cover it. Hope not. Pump some onto my palette. Down here, now I'm going to take my blending sponge and bounce this all over my face. And then lastly, we have the PS Pri uh, Watermelon Primer Water. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. I think I look fabulous. No, I don't look fabulous. I mean, it hasn't come out terribly, but you can definitely tell there's some irregularities with my makeup. For instance, the concealer line that you could see, <laughs> if I had done it in the right order, normally that would not be there. Um, I mean, the blush came through and the bronzer kind of came through, so did the contour. Um, but in reality, who is gonna sit here, do their makeup in reverse, and go out. Who's going to leave? No one's going to leave. They're just going to sit there and take it off. But it was a bit of fun and I enjoyed doing it and I loved his reactions. It, honestly, I wish you could have seen his faces because they were brilliant. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, 
give it a thumbs up for me. If you're enjoying me and my content, then click that subscribe button and ring that little bell so you get notified every time I upload. Leave your video suggestions in the comments down below. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely week. I'll see you all through the screen. Bye, guys.